The area around Sutherland in the Northern Cape is rich in heritage and history, but this is where a serious injustice was done. The remains of San and Khoi people were removed from their resting place on the Kreisrefeer farm near Sutherland in the 1920s and brought to the University of Cape Town. UCT realized that they were unethically acquired while doing an audit of its skeletal collection in February 2017. This finding presents a transformational moment for us as an institution. A moment in which we acknowledge and apologize unreservedly for an institutional mistake a process led by UCT Deputy Vice-Chancellor for Transformation, Professor Loretta Ferris, was set up to see how the remains could be returned to their rightful place and laid to rest near their families. Removing people from their graves, from their resting place, is a major impact on, on their humanity and on their dignity. And so bringing them back reburying them, putting them back in their resting place and in a way putting their souls to rest is for us a way of trying to restore the dignity. With the help of a public participation consultant, the descendants were traced. When I shared with them the project, they were stunned. First, they were shocked because especially the Stearman family, they didn't know uh, about what happened to their family and they always wondered for years what happened to their family and here we're coming, UCT is coming to tell them their story. I had long waited for this moment. I had it with many people that I had to speak with, but no one could really say, yeah, that is so, or no one could really say that it's important. A team of scientists from across various disciplines work together to establish the identity of the individuals, provide insights into where they lived, their diet and their living conditions. They were able to reconstruct their faces as they would have appeared at the time of death. They were able to determine their gender, height and estimate ages, establish any medical conditions they had and cause of deaths and determine their genetic relationship. The team also conducted a survey of the Kreisrefeer Farm Cemetery they had originally been buried at, did an in-depth analysis of the disturbed graves, and examined the history of the farm of the Rochefeld area. During the year, there were several cultural exchanges between the San, Khoi and University community. It was a significant moment when the scientific findings were shared with the Abram and Stearman families and the facial reconstructions of their ancestors revealed. They were so excited. I think it's just excitement that couldn't lead me to sleep. Mm -hmm. Because every time when I close my eyes, I start seeing all these pictures and the faces in front of me. And at the end of the, of the day, I had them all eight of them singing for me a song, a gospel song. It is no hals for me a good ear om te kan sien en elk een vertel vir my een story op sy eie. En ek en as ek sien vir Sarki en dit is nogal baie emotioneel, maar ek is bly. The groundbreaking research could influence national policy on restitution and be precedent setting internationally. For the UCT team, the process has been extremely meaningful. The impact of what we're doing is bigger than reburying nine people. We're rebuilding a history that is lost in this community. And for me, that is an incredible privilege to be part of. Notionally, we know what transformation means, uh, but this is an, uh, a tangible example which uh, people can look to for, uh, for inspiration. So I'm very happy to have been part of that. Addressing past injustices through redress and restitution has been at the heart of this process. And it is hoped it will bring a sense of peace and healing to the Abram and Stearman families and to the greater community around Sutherland.